Oh look, a seal by 3D Maker Pro. Let's put it to the test. Rebuilding, rebuilding, still rebuilding. Oh my lord, still rebuilding! This is a beefy editing gaming machine that should not be taking this long. Yay! All right, let's select the table and trim that off. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Yep, this program freezes every time I try and select something. Delete. By the way, this footage is sped up for you so that way you don't have to endure the pain that it is for waiting for things to happen. And that looks like noise. That also looks like noise and noise. Delete the noise. And then we'll look at the other scan. By the way, this is like the worst way to like view something. It's like the orbit is around the wrong point. This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and by the way, this is a matte object. There should not be any noise from like reflections. Oh, yeah, and by the way, anything you do for processing or saving or loading or anything that's not just scanning takes forever. Like, I'm already half an hour into this. Add our two scans. Let's see if we can align them. Scan one is our pin. Let's align everything. Finished! Your alignment result is not ideal. <gasps> really? I couldn't tell. Ermagerd. We're going in, boys! Yeah, there we go. We'll just say one's here and one's here. And we'll say two's here and two's here. And three is here and three is here. Okay. I think those are our points that it will have to do. Okay, we're gonna pin everything to one. So scan two should align to one. Let's do it. And more waiting. Surprise! More waiting. <gasps> it's done. Okay, I think that actually might have done. And they look relatively well aligned. Good job, me. Please don't crash. Just another reason to be highly disappointed with this purchase. This app is terrible. Oh, praise be. Okay, save it. <laughs> good Lord, stressing me out. No wonder I have anxiety. I think this is as good as this is gonna get. I'll try to table scan after all this, but let's see how it looks. We're not gonna remove noise, not gonna repair gaps, not gonna simplify, but we are gonna texture map. A few minutes later. Oh, look at that. Look at the data. <gasps> surprise, surprised. Looks like garbage. General shape is there. Every detail has been smoothed. Watch, we'll even do it again. We'll process this. Oh, of course, yeah, let's save it. Why not? Didn't ask you to, but sure. More waiting. We need to hide that. Show those. Process. With no refinement. Let's see how that looks. Hmm. I can't wait to see the exact same model. A little longer than a few minutes later. Oh my gosh, look, it's done after copious amounts of time. And look at that, looks exactly the same. Couple extra floaty bits here, but let's see what the other two looked like. Well, let's look at just the model. Oh geez, what? It looks the same? Same processing? This one even might even look worse. Basically identical meshes. Look at that. Identical. Save it before I have another aneurysm. All right, let's do a table scan. Okay, let's initialize. So that way the scanner knows what the table is. By the way, this scanner is not centered. I have to twist it left for it to be level. It is not centered. It's also skewed. That's why it looks so weird. Okay, I think that's enough initializing. All right, we'll put our model in the center. We'll head to the other. Oh, did I kill it? 
Come on. Yes, yes I know. Did you freeze? You froze on me. Lovely. Let's wait, see if you can figure yourself out. Oh, looky there, you did. Rebuilding? I, I, I didn't scan. All right, folks, we are about an hour into this with little to nothing to show for. All right, let's initialize that table. That's why it looks so weird. All right, I think that's enough initializing. I'm gonna put our model on the center and we're gonna head to the other scan. And of course it's frozen. Rebuilding? You haven't even taken any scans. Maybe we should start a new project. Okay, and after crashing and starting a new project, let's start again. Okay, initialize that table. Should be plenty. We'll place our object on the table, scan. And this will take 320 frames and it's already lost track. Lovely. So we got to start over. Initialize the table. Good enough. Place the object on the table. Scan. And we lost it again. Initialize the table. Stop initializing. Start scanning. Yet it doesn't see the table and lost tracking. Reset. Initialize. Stop initializing. Put the object on scan. I guess it wants us to be closer than it tells us to. There we go, it does its 320 frames. Random arbitrary number, I guess. It does kind of like a full 360. All right, so it's supposedly auto-selected that bed. So all we do is hit delete. And that's what we're left with, which is it's deleted more than it should have, but that's okay. We'll do another, another angle. Let's append, initialize the table. All right, good enough. Put the object in a different orientation back on the table. We'll scan. Yes, but if we go farther, we lose tracking. So this is why table scan is not ideal. Because if I move from this exact spot with an object that's bigger than this, it fails every time. All right, let's check the scan. If it's any, if there's any ghosting. Nope, we'll hit delete. We'll append that again. Initialize the table, get too close than you're supposed to. All right, we'll put the object on in a different orientation. We will scan. All right, and delete the table. Any ghosting? Nope. And we will do our last append for the bottom. We'll initialize the table, put our object back on, and scan. Okay, delete the base again. Bring them all back. All right, we'll pin everything to scan for, and we will auto align. So far, in every single test that I've done, auto align has not worked. Oh, looky there, nothing aligned. Hmm, yes. All right, I will manually align these and be right back. Yep, nah, totally failed. I'm not gonna waste my time on trying to align the rest. So let's just see how one fuses together into a model. Oh, looky there, lost all the details. Couldn't even get the text. And by the way, take a look at these pictures. Take a look at this L. This is 0.64 millimeters, which is 13 times the size of the claimed detail resolution. 13 times the 0.05 that they claim on their website. And it's completely smoothed over. Let's do something really stupid. Let's go into easy scan and just scan the top with the detail. So each letter has a engraving that is 13 times the acclaimed detail that it can capture. Let's see if it can actually capture that. And the reason I'm going to easy scan is because I can scan a bunch and hopefully it will take all that and make detail from it. All right. And as you can see, I've positioned it right in the middle of the excellent scan range. So let's go. All right, 2,000 frames, let's see how it looks. Five very bowling minutes later. Woohoo! Wow, that is atrocious. But let's see if it can actually get this text. First, let's reverse our selection. Wait for it while it contemplates its existence. Wait some more and more. Take a nap, pick up a less time consuming hobby. Oh, look, let's delete that because we don't want any of that table just to give it more of a chance to succeed and ponder our existence a little bit longer. I think that'll work because that's the only part I care about right there. We're not going to align it to anything. It's just the one. Let's texture map it. We will go through all these settings afterwards, but we're just going to let it process as is. 
We'll have it at default refinement, apply, and have a midlife crisis, which I mean, this day and age is like 30s. All right, let's see. Wouldn't you know it? It looks exactly the same on top. Does it matter if we're getting 320 frames or 2000 frames? It looks the same. Look at that, guys. You only need 320 frames to look this good. Look at that, 320 frames. Now, aren't you glad you watched this? Yeah. Colors are completely off too. Look at that, that color accuracy. Mm. Oh, but you wanted me to do the other settings, right? Just to make sure. Okay, let's do that. We're gonna simplify and repair and remove noise. We're gonna do all of it. Yep, we want that one. All right, let's see how we did. Mm, yes, looks exactly the same. Okay, oh, too simple? Okay, let's let's do it again. Yes, we want that one again. By the way, we are two hours into this now. And let's take a look. Oh, look at that. Exactly the same. Who the funk? <laughs> Okay guys, go ahead and check out that seal by 3D Maker Pro because it definitely has 0.01 millimeter accuracy and 0.05 millimeter resolution. Check it out.